There are now more than 400 cases of monkeypox in Florida and Georgia and total cases in the U.S. now reaching close to 6,000. So what exactly is monkeypox? Let's start with the name monkeypox. It was first discovered in 1958 in monkeys being used for research, but it turns out they were not the source of it. They just so happen to be susceptible to it, just like humans. Well, it belongs to the same family of viruses as smallpox, but it is less contained Ages and not anywhere near as deadly. When smallpox was eradicated globally more than 40 years ago, officials stopped vaccinating for it, and that's part of the problem right now. The smallpox vaccine provides protection against other pox viruses, including monkeypox, and the last monkeypox outbreak in the U.S. was in 2003. But there were only 47 cases, all linked to pet prairie dogs, and those animals were infected after coming to contact with small mammals imported from Ghana. During this outbreak, monkeypox appears to be spreading through skin to skin contact with someone infected. It has an incubation period right now of usually one to two weeks and can start with fever, muscle aches and fatigue. After that, a rash seems to develop, resulting in lesions, and it typically lasts two to four weeks. While most people recover just fine, children with people or children and people, excuse me, with weakened immune systems are most at risk for severe disease. The U.S. uses two types of smallpox vaccines to fight monkeypox right now, and the CDC says anyone who thinks they may have been exposed should get the shot, but that is easier said than done. Of course, doctors and patients are reporting lengthy delays in test results and a daunting amount of paperwork just to get that treatment.